So uh, this morning's uh, chapters were Romans 1 and 2, and the theme was uh, Chaos Without God. I found Romans 1 and 2 quite um, tough chapters to read. Yeah. Um, they're full of descriptions of what happens um, to our hearts and our minds when we humans want nothing to do with God, with the God who made us. And yet Romans 2, 4 reminds us of God's kindness and patience and forbearance towards us. But the verse that really resonated with me was Romans 1, verse 20. And this is the NIV. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made. And it just made me think, um, you know, about the fact that God is evidence in creation all around us, whether that's in the awesome beauty of the stars above us or even in the detail of um, the simplest of flowers. And, um, so that took me to Psalm 8, verse 3, and this is the Passion Translation. Look at the splendor of your skies, your creative genius glowing in the heavens. When I gaze at your moon and your stars, mounted like jewels in their settings, I know you, you are the fascinating artist who fashioned it all. And the other thing I did, I brought in from the garden, just um, this dandelion. You know, this is a really common weed that gardeners hate. Um, but actually, it is, when you look at it closely, when you look at the seed heads, when you look at the flowers, it is so beautifully and intricately made. And so at this time, when things feel very out of control, it's, it's good to be reminded of the eternal nature and the awesome power of our creator God, that he still has our care in his hands. Mm, that's lovely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, that's lovely. <coughs> yeah, you're right about the, the dandelion. Every spring uh, over here, uh, I'm just so surprised and amazed uh, by you know by all the plants and and the and the flowers and all that and the, that come up you know uh, and uh, I don't know I, I just feel that in the tropics in the tropics uh, it, the, even though everything is green all the time you no know, there just isn't such a profusion of colors and flowers and all that you no know, that that we see over here you know uh, uh, so uh, yeah I think it, it's it's really quite amazing, and and as you were sharing that, oh, I can't help but be reminded, especially during this time. You know, I think um, during normal times when we were going about <coughs> our lives and 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 just rushing about and everything, or that you know, and we can clearly see that oh, God has created everything that's beautiful and marvelous, but the sheer abuse of it, uh, and. I think it's it's just a good reminder during this time that you know uh, that perhaps what we have done uh, so far has been just a little bit too much, isn't it? You know, and and it's just a good reminder that well you can only take things a little bit you know that far before before you know being reminded that uh, well this is still God's creation, isn't it? And uh, and uh, and you can't really push it up too far uh, before there's been a little bit of a, a setback yeah yeah one, one one thing that really comes to mind um about what you said was that um and 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 this this um comes as someone who is a big fan of dandelions is that dandelions are seen as a weed mm. i love dandelions um we used to when i was younger we had the, it was an old wives tale that mm. if you um, picked a dandelion, then you would wet your bed at night. That's what they used to say. <laughs> I remember um, it wasn't until later on I realised actually there is some medicinal 
um, reality in that, in that there is a very, very mild diuretic that can be produced from dandelion stalks. So there you go. But one of the, the French things name for I, dandelion is Pisson Lee. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> very good. Very good. But, but the point here, the point I'm making is that we see the dandelions as weeds. Now, in, in our modern times, um, it's already been pointed out that the, the bees are struggling. The bees are, um, are having their habitat destroyed. Um, they're dying of the bee plague or whatever it is. And um, dandelions produce, uh, uh, pro or dandelions provide the first, um, the first bit of nectar for, for bees um, in, you know, in most areas now because they are quite prolific. So um, people have been generally asked, don't chop your dandelions down, leave them because they're feeding the bees and the bees feed the flowers and they feed all the, the things that we find beautiful. Mm -hmm. So um, the weeds are important. The people, mm -hmm. things that we don't find beautiful are important. Um, you know, so that's um, some sort of reflection I would put in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> A bit like church. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, very much. So. Yes, yeah. isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, a bit like you, there's yeah. people you can't get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I suppose like in like church, Christians, you know, like dandelions um pop up in all the strangest of places, just like Christians do. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. sometimes they they will you find dandelions growing through walls and through the pavements and think places where you wouldn't normally think to see yeah. uh, think are places of natural beauty and sustenance and things like yeah. that you know yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah you can't always yeah. see where they're getting their energy from where they're getting their power from yeah and that's the yeah. that's a good thing i, I don't uh, it's a real lesson in dandelions this morning i don't know about <laughs> art but <laughs> Somebody laid uh, down our street. They laid tarmac on the pavement and went over it with a with a roller and everything, and it looked beautiful. And about three weeks later, <laughs> dandelions started coming up, and they're so strong they can lift tarmac. But one of the reasons is because their roots go so deep. And I suppose there's a lesson there. <laughs> if, our, if we are rooted and grounded in Christ, mm, we can yeah. overcome and we can work our way through all the difficult thing so here ended the lesson on dandelion so yeah i think um, <laughs> i think there's definitely a sermon in there we need to pass this on to graham for the next yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's yeah. done palm yeah. trees now we need to do um, <laughs> dandelions. Uh, yes. <laughs> I, i've heard uh that uh you can actually put dandelions in salads you yeah, can have dandelion oh, yeah. tea dandelion Soup. wine and, and Soup. yeah yeah and, and whatnot you know yeah so something yeah, that seems like a weird and, and as well. yeah, and yeah. apparently uh, a, a generation ago, people used to grow dandelions, you know, for just for those purposes, you know, uh, mm -hmm. because you know it, it's, it can be a food. You no, know? but nowadays, you no, know, they just see that as a weed. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh. <laughs> if you if you really want to annoy your neighbours, you can um, <clears throat> pick a, pick a good sized dandelion stalk, <laughs> take, take the flower head off, split the end. And you can blow down it, it makes an absolute ear shattering <laughs> scream. Okay. I highly recommend it. All you right. can even, and you can poke holes in the stem and play tunes on them. Oh, oh, that's yeah. incredible. Oh. Oh, I'm going to try that. Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Is she don't know what you started this morning? No, I don't. I thought, I thought people would be taken with the stars and the awesomeness of the skies, but no, it's underlying. Yeah, we're, we're all going to be wetting it. our beds tonight. That's the only problem. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Yeah, yeah. Last spring, uh, my boys and I, you know, we were going around picking dandelions uh, and mashing them all on each other's heads, you know. Yeah, <laughs> because, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. yeah it, it was. It wasn't something that you know we see, you know, back in Singapore, you know. So that was a that was a good deal of fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I think there was a Bible scripture in there somewhere, wasn't there? Yes, yes. So it was <laughs> Romans one. Verse 20 was the main one, um, which was about the creation of the world. God's invisible, invisible qualities. qualities. Yes. 
eternal power and divine nature. It's exactly the dandelions. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly what we've been yeah. talking about. God's a yes. Yes, <laughs> the invisible qualities. Yeah. yeah. Actually, they can be clearly seen and understood when you yeah. really look at what he's made. Mm, brilliant. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I think uh, it, it's just uh, probably it's, it's just a good indication of cabin fever, you know, that <laughs> we've all been stuck inside for so long that, <laughs> that suddenly now, you know, we're starting to realize, you know, the simple beauty of, of such a thing, a commonplace thing as a dandelion, isn't it? And, yeah. and you're right, they're, they're really brilliant, you know, brilliant colors. And I have looked closely at the dandelion and, it, and it's just fantastic. The structure yeah. and the design of it and everything like that. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah. Yeah, thank goodness there are, there are good things coming out of all this uh, this whole quarantine and lockdown thing, you know. And this, <laughs> yeah, it really gets us to appreciate yeah, God's uh, creation all the more, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. lovely. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry, I, I, um, I'm talking a bit too much. Uh, anybody else? No, no, uh, anybody? Right. Yeah. Now, I've started a picture you can pray for me because I've got to get the colour of bluebells. I've started, a, I don't you can see it, it's all too oh, dark. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's, um, I've got to get the bluebells colour right because it's really hard. And I okay. did one as well of Round Day Park. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, good. Yeah, yeah. that's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. <clears throat> and uh, so I'm going to finish, I'm going to fi try and finish this one this morning. Because when I go to art classes, I do nothing except drink tea and see what everybody else is doing. So, <laughs> so I've got to... I've got to get my head down this morning and do some work. <laughs> okay. okay. That was lovely, lovely thought, Liz. That's really lovely. That's great. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, thanks. Thanks for joining us this morning. Okay. Uh, and if you hear anything, uh, if you get you know, inspired from any of these or that, you know, uh, uh, please you know, do a bit of art, you know, in worship to God, everything, uh, and, and put it up on the Facebook page so that uh, we can inspire other artists. Okay. Thanks and uh, see you next week.